I'm Brianna, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to film again. I already talked in a previous video about being home for winter break and I did get some books while I was away at college. Some I did unfortunately leave at college because I figured I would read them and these books I just brought home because I thought I was going to read them over break. So I got, I think I have like four books that I left at college um, that I got there but yeah these all were bought either through Amazon or through my local Barnes & Noble which is at the mall by my college which I'm there all the time because what else does a college kid do when she's bored go to the mall but yeah so some of these I got before some I got during I'll just explain when I show you but there are two items that are not like book items like they're not books and the others are books but yeah, so the first thing I got was a Han Solo pop figure. I was actually gifted this before I went away to school, and I never showed you guys. I don't have him out of the box yet, don't know why, but I'm kind of getting, like, full on my Pop Funko shelf, so I'll probably just add him in here. Um, I did also get the Joker right here, and then I did get Harley Quinn as well right here. Those were my sister's old Pop Funkos, and she didn't want them, so she gave them to me. But yeah, Han Solo was adorable. Still haven't seen the Solo movie, but I'm watching it over break because my dad hasn't seen it either, so I think we're going to watch it this weekend. I'm filming on a Wednesday, I think, if I got the date correct. But yeah, he's adorable, and he looks just like the Han Solo in the movie. Then, this was so exciting. So I placed this order, like a while before I left for college and then I got it like the second or third week of school when I was away it came to the house so my mom opened for me and put it on my shelf because I have a shelf dedicated to this author and that is a flame candle this is this is by bookish aromas um it's their company this I don't know what size this is it's a four ounce candle so it's one of their smaller ones they do a four and an eight ounce I really loved it. I mean, my only issue is technically this was a pre-order, but I had to wait so long to get it, and I wasn't expecting that. So that's my only issue. I felt Wicked Fable, which is the other bookish candle company that I own, I felt their shipping and delivery was a lot faster than Bookish Romos, but I love their candles because it's... <sighs> They're romance authors. Um, I didn't get any other ones because if you guys have seen my review video, Flame is my absolute favorite character. I love him so much. She's had candles for all of them. All the guys. Um, I'm hoping there will be more. She just had a Beauty and the Beast candle. So maybe I'll get it. But like right now it's sold out. But I love this. And it smells like Bonfire Bliss. The candles are also vegan and soy, which I love. I'll smell it for you guys. It definitely sounds, it smells like, sounds like, candles don't sound. It smells like a fire with, like, firewood. Like, when you pick up firewood and you try to, you make a fire and it's, like, an actual fire. That's what it smells like. It smells really good. Definitely smells like what flame would smell like. I love that guy. He's great. Go read the Hades Hangman series by Tilly Cole if you haven't already. And this is, like, a close-up of it. I feel like I'm a beauty blogger. I'm not. And then it's just literally red. And then I already cut the wick. I haven't lit it yet, but that's what it looks like on the inside. It's literally just red. And then it's sparkly, kind of, but you can't really tell on camera. But I absolutely love the candle, and I love the book series, and yeah, I'm a nerd. It's okay, guys. So the next book I got as a Hanukkah present from my parents, and so it is a collector's di edition of Throne of Glass. It comes like this, Throne of Glass, Sarah J Mass, and this is the, the deer, I think, yeah. And then this is the back. And the book comes inside here, and it comes with a ribbon that I'm supposed to cut out, but I haven't done that yet. Um, the book comes inside here, but I was reading it, so I kind of took the book out. So then this is what the book looks like. It's very, very shiny, it's purple. This is the back of it. This is the Amulet of Ornith. And then this is this. And then what I did like a lot is this is, well, there's gold foil pages. And then they updated the map. Like, this map is beautiful and it's huge compared to all the other books. And then what you see is you see the eye of Elena. And then there's, like, a sword for every chapter. 
so I think it's beautiful I love it it is very heavy I wasn't ex also I wasn't expecting it to be purple so I thought it was interesting but yeah <laughs> so that was that book and then next, I had to get the Barnes & Noble exclusive, exclusive edition of Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. Again, I'm not a huge fan. I haven't really talked about this at all on my channel because I've been away. But I'm not a huge fan of the gold. I don't like that it doesn't match the other series colors. If you could see, they're like tinted the color of the background. This one's just gold. And even the spine is like that. So I get it's the last book and she wants to make it beautiful but I don't know it just wasn't my favorite and then the reason why it's an exclusive edition is because there is like it's signed by her but it's also like the cover has the people but yeah I'm hoping to read this over break how many pages is it because I know a lot of people have read it already also has her notes in here it is 978 pages so we'll see um, again, I discuss this in my other video, but I really, I'm not in the mood to read the whole entire series all over again, because I've done that so many times. So, I'm either going to read Empire of Storms, um, Tower of Dawn, and then this, or I'm just going to read Tower of Dawn and then this. I have no clue yet. We will see. Um, it's definitely going to mess me up, because I'm going to be missing a lot of characters, but I just, I don't know, I just want to finish a series and read it. Definitely gonna cry. I will update you guys on that. And I will definitely have a video of like the books I read over winter break. Um, I'm probably gonna do that because I know I'm gonna read a lot and I wanna separate everything from college. Then I got Intercepted by Alexa Martin. This is a football romance and what I think is really cool is the author is married to an NFL player. So I don't, I'm assuming it's something Martin. I don't know who he is um Derek I believe I'm not sure but I'm very excited to get into it I've heard really good things about it so far I just again I bought this in October and when it came out and I haven't been able to get into it I'm gonna try and read it over break we'll see if I'm in the mood I'm a very much mood like reader but yeah and I'm definitely think I'm gonna do an update video of college and everything but we have intercepted then I got the second book in the Play by Play series, no, Stage Dive series, and that's Play by Kylie Scott. This is a book two. This one follows the drummer. I really enjoyed the first book. It wasn't, uh, Kylie's writing wasn't really that good, but the plot just made me laugh the whole time. Um, it basically is about this girl that wakes up in Vegas married to a rock star, and she doesn't remember that happening. But I am excited to get into this. I will probably, this will be a summer read book. Um, I'll probably reread the first book and then this book over the summer. And then I was sent another book to review by JJ Valentine. I'm going to try and get to this. Worst case scenario, I will wait till the summer. He didn't really give me a date to read it by. He just sent it to me and asked to review it. I have reviewed a previous book by him and I really loved it. It was called John's Love. It was just really good and eye-opening and I read it two summers ago like he sent it to me when I first started my channel and what I like about his books is they're super short so you can read them right away but they give you a lot to think about and that is this book is Wait For Me by JJ Valentine this one I think is really good um I've seen a whole bunch of positive review, reviews about it and now that I took lifespan development which is basically a psychology class about your whole life I think I will get a lot more out of this read so I'm excited to read it and review it for you guys I definitely think it will be up in the summer so don't expect anything soon unless I get to it sooner than I expect the next book I got is fight or flight by Samantha Young I was so excited to pick this book up Unfortunately, I've been hearing mixed reviews about it, and I'm kind of upset about it. Some people have been saying they just don't like it. It's a hate-to-love relationship, so there's that to play. But basically, it's about a Scottish man, and I think she's from the U.S., and they kind of run, run into each other on different flights. So I thought it was really interesting because I love Scotland, if you guys don't know. Um... So I did want to read this. I love Samantha Young's previous um, on Dublin on Dublin Street series. 
so I'm hoping I love it. I really hope I don't dislike it like all the a lot of other people, a lot of other my booktube friends have said, but I brought it home because I thought I would read it. I did start it and I kind of stopped, but then again, I've been doing that with a whole bunch of books, so I can't blame myself, but yeah. And then the last book I got while at college, if I could pick it up, is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. I wanted to read this so bad because this is a Little Mermaid retelling and the point of view of Ursula. So this one, I definitely think I'm going to read over break. I'm just excited to pick it up. It's just really interesting and it's nice to see like a villain's point of view. Um, so far, all like like mermaid retellings that I've read or like this like anything under the sea I've really really enjoyed so I'm hoping I enjoy this book as well I think not gonna lie I may start this right now um because I am reading balance but I can't get into that right now so maybe a fantasy read will break me out of this book slump I'm having but I also think this cover is gorgeous and I'm so excited to have this in my possession um that's it for my book haul that happened from all of college so if you guys have any recommendations or if you've read any of these books leave a comment down below because I would love what you, to love to read what you guys write thought about these books I really can't talk today that's a bad thing but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul and you've gotten some good ideas on what to get for the upcoming holidays for either yourself or friends and I hope you guys have a happy holidays if you guys celebrate ha Hanukkah happy Hanukkah Merry Christmas and happy New Year's and I'll see you guys in a later video